How to build a pop bottle terrarium. What you'll need. A two liter plastic pop bottle. Small pebbles or coarse sand. Activated carbon, this is optional. Potting soil. Some plants. A spray bottle. and scissors and a marker. Getting started. Okay, so I'm starting with the, uh, the pop bottle here. Um, I've cut it in two already, just to save a little time. But you're going to want to cut it about one third of the way up. It's about four inches from the bottom. This part can be a little bit difficult, so if you're doing this with children, you might want the adult to do this. Um, I just popped a, a hole in the side of the bottle, and then I just cut along the line with a pair of scissors. So we're going to start the terrarium with the bottom of the bottle. And we're going to add about one inch of the coarse sand or small pebbles. Here I'm using some fish tank rocks, which work really well. Um, but you're going to use pretty much any sort of sediment that is going to allow drainage. Um, and what this uh, inch layer is going to do is going to allow all of the excess water from the terrarium to gather here. Um, and this is going to prevent the soil from getting muddy um, and just keeps the terrarium a little bit healthier. So the next step is optional, but we find it helps to keep your terrarium nice and clean. Um, and I'm going to add about one quarter of an inch layer of activated carbon or activated charcoal. You can find this at any pet store that sells uh, aquarium supplies. Um, and it's going to act as a filter for your water. So all of the water that goes down to the bottom in the, the gravel is going to get sucked back up through this charcoal. And it's going to prevent mold growth and keep bad smells out. Um, and it's generally just a, a good idea for a, a long-term terrarium. Next we're going to add the soil. So here I'm using a uh, potting soil. Um, you shouldn't use garden soil because lots of garden soil will have fungi and bacteria in it, which is fine in your garden. However, in a terrarium, it's going to be very moist and very warm, which is an ideal growth condition for the fungi and bacteria and it can cause some problems. So here I'm just using um, some sterilized potting soil and that really also promotes growth so it's a really good idea. Um, and I'm filling up the, the rest of the bottle um, almost to the top, not quite, uh, a little bit of room left but almost to the top. Um, and then you can just pat it down, give it a little tap uh, to get any of the large uh, ear, ear pockets out of there and uh, just tap it down again. So now my soil is actually a little bit dry, so I'm just going to add some water. Um, and this is going to help while I'm planting, keep the dust down. Um, you don't have to do this if you have nice moist soil. So now I'm going to add the plants. Uh, here I have a fir sapling and some moss. Um, if you're going to collect your own plants, it's a really good idea to get them from the same area. Um, because then you can almost guarantee that they have the sunlight, same sunlight and water uh, needs. Or you can just plant one plant and add a little moss in there. Um, it's really just up to you. It, it's not rocket science. It should be pretty easy. It's something to play with and really this is the, the part of the terrarium that you want to have fun with. Uh, be creative, be artistic, um, add decorations if you want. Really it's up to you and the sky is the limit. Um, so now we're going to water the terrarium. Um, you want the soil all the way through to be uh, nice and moist. Not wet, but nice and moist. Um, you don't want it to be muddy um, or sogging. Um, so you can just check the side there to see how dry it is uh, all, all the way through. Um, so now we're going to put the top of the bottle on. Um, but it can be pretty difficult. Um, so I'm going to add some slits. I'm going to add four along the, along the side here, equally spaced out. And that's just going to help the, uh, the bottle top go on a little bit easier. Um, it is going to be a pretty snug fit though. So have a little patience and uh, eventually it's just going to go on there. And then your terrarium will be complete. Um, so this is a closed system. And it's a really great learning tool to learn about ecosystems and the water cycle. Um, and what's going to happen is during the day your terrarium is going to heat up and the water is going to evaporate from the plants and from the soil. 
but during the evening it's going to cool down, it's going to condense on the sides, and it's going to rain back down to water your plants. So it's like a little mini water cycle. I hope you enjoyed the video, and good luck with your terrariums.